What is up guys, today I am here with an unboxing of this iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now looking at the back here, as usual, I did pick up the 512 gigabyte model, but this year instead of silver, I actually went with graphite. Now I was hoping to do the midnight green, but they discontinued that after the iPhone 11 Pro. Now another thing you're going to notice about this box is that it is a lot thinner than previous iPhones and that's because they decided to take out the charge brick and the headphones and from looking at other unboxings of this, even one of the Apple stickers. So this now only includes one. Taking a look at the box here, we have a, a new graphic on the front. That looks pretty cool. I'm kind of happy to see that they kept the black box for the Pro series as well. But I'm going to just go ahead and open this thing up. So as usual, no knife needed. And then here's the box. Oh man. Wow. Look at that. So there it is right up, right at the top. It's heavy. All right. We're going to go ahead and set this off to the side for just a second. Under here, we have the one accessory, which is a, it's a Thunderbolt to lightning cable. Now, Apple's reasoning for this is to save the environment by not including things that no one needs in the box. But if that were true and they didn't just want more sales on their charge bricks, they would have put a normal USB-A to lightning in the box because a lot more people have that little 5 watt brick than have the 18 watt fast charge brick that has USB-C. Anyway, though, we're going to go ahead and put that back in the box and check this out right here. What do we got in here? Right at the top, we have a SIM eject tool, an Apple sticker, just one, as I mentioned before, and a quick start guide. And that's literally it. That's all that's in the box. All right, so with that out of the way, we're now going to go ahead and take a look at the phone itself. This is also different. This used to be plastic. It's now paper. And this is something I didn't notice in any of the videos I had watched. It actually has indicators for what it does. So you have the power button, volume down, volume up, and of course the uh, ringer silence switch and on the back they kept the uh, They kept the textured finish from the 11 pro series. All right. This is my favorite part Beautiful look at that so first impressions here. I really like the shape of this I have missed the squared off edges for quite a while now. I like the weight I like the size, it actually doesn't feel any bigger than my 11 Pro Max. Which actually, for reference, here you go right here. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The camera is a lot bigger. Wow, look at that. I didn't notice that until I had them both side by side here. That is insane. That's huge. But as you can see, footprint-wise, I'd say they're pretty much exactly the same. Actually, nah, the 12 Pro is just a little bit bigger. But not by much, you know, it's... It's not bad. The screen in this one is also 0.2 inches bigger than this one. This had a 6.5 inch display and this has a 6.7 inch display. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing turned on. There it is. The glorious Apple logo. Very basic from iPhones since the beginning. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and get this thing set up and I'll be back with you when that's done. So this is something I don't think I've ever actually done setting up an iPhone before, but if you look here, it's giving me options. I can either transfer directly from this iPhone right here, or I can download everything from iCloud. And that's what I'm going to do because I actually have to leave here in a few minutes, so I don't want to just leave my phone here. So we're going to do that. Um, basically, what it does is uh, when you download from iCloud, it'll get all of your essential stuff downloaded before you can use it. And then once that's done, you can use your phone while all of the rest of your stuff downloads in the background, which is pretty nice. And while we're at it, we're just going to go ahead and update my backup before restoring. Might as well. And then as you can see on the iPhone 11 Pro, without even touching it, 
it just automatically is updating its backup because I asked it to from the new phone. This is the Apple ecosystem, and this is why I went back to iPhone from Android. This is another thing I don't really remember from any other iPhone unboxing. It's letting me set up my Apple Watch Series 5 and three others, which is my first gen Series 4 and Series 6. Let's just go ahead and move them over to the new phone. And no, we're not going to send Apple my freaking recordings from Siri. No analytics either. Ooh, and we have a software update. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and install that right now, I guess. It's kind of weird on launch day, this phone doesn't have the latest version of iOS installed on it. But as you can see, my internet is fast enough to just do this within seconds. So while the new phone is updating, I figured I might as well throw this in here as well. I bought the leather case with MagSafe for this phone, the black one. We're going to go ahead and open this really quick. Look at that. I think this is the first case I've ever seen that has a camera bump. That's kind of funny, but it also sucks. <laughs> it does say in here the interaction with MagSafe accessories will leave slight imprints, and that's because this is an actual leather case. And there's another piece of paper in here. Come on now. There we go. Oh, you can actually see the ring for MagSafe in here. That's kind of cool. Now, I would love to run this phone without a case, but I'm not going to for two reasons. One, I'm not careful enough. I drop things frequently. And the second reason, this is... Even just from like setting it up, this thing is a fingerprint magnet. That's terrible. Look at that. Oh man, I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up and put it in its case. And there it is. That's, that's a pretty nice case. I've always liked Apple's leather cases. And when I didn't see any on the website after they announced the 12 series, I got a little bit worried, but the they launched the leather cases with the 12 Pro Max and 12 mini. So I'm going to go ahead and let this thing finish updating, and then we will be back to the video. All right, and after quite a while of waiting, this thing is finally done, it's finally restored, and it's finally up to date. Now, really quick, I did actually put a tempered glass screen cover on this while I was waiting, but you can't notice because the glass on the front is flat. If you look at the iPhone 11 Pro, you can definitely see the lip of the screen cover right there. And there it is. All of my apps are being installed, as you can see, but... I can now use the phone and get it activated. So here's the new camera app right here. As you can see, we still have the ultra wide, the standard, and now a 2.5 times telephoto lens. That's pretty sweet. Um, the main shooter has a new means of stabilization and now has sensor shift OIS instead of the, you know, the standard one they've had forever. Um, sensor shift is basically equivalent to in-body image stabilization in things like my Panasonic mirrorless camera or Sony's or Canon's have them too. To end off this video, let's go ahead and go into the camera settings, record video, 4K 60, HDR, auto 30. No, get out of here. Keep it at 60. Lock camera off. All right, let's go ahead and give this thing a test and see what this HDR is all about. So here it is guys, HDR with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. This is my little ghetto rig studio. Over there we have my Panasonic mirrorless camera. Over here we have a new camera. This is a Canon 5D Mark IV. This thing is an absolute beast. Uh, we got some soft boxes, look at that. I don't know, man, I don't know about this dynamic range. I mean, it's, it's impressive, don't get me wrong. Like if I have this here, you can see the, you know, the light doesn't blow everything out of, uh, out of exposure, I guess. But I hate that glare. Look at that glare. That's really annoying. But you know what? Other than that, autofocus as usual is crazy fast. Look at that. We can even like focus in nice and close on this mic here. That's impressive, guys. This is coming from an iPhone. Look, you can even see like my fingerprint on, on these boxes here. See all the detail of this messed up leather case? And um, while we're at it, this is what the microphone inside the iPhone sounds like. Up until now, you've been hearing me through this microphone, but there you go, guys. The iPhone 12 Pro Max HDR. This autofocus still blows my mind. I really like it. Stabilization looks pretty good. It doesn't really look any better than it did before, though, if I'm being completely honest. 
So there you go, guys. That is going to be it for iPhone Day 2020. Today, we unboxed the iPhone 12 Pro Max itself and this black leather case with MagSafe. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the double upload today. I am incredibly happy that I was able to get this on launch day because if you guys don't remember, my Apple Watch Series 6 was delayed a few days, but we got the thing that matters on launch day. I also have a HomePod Mini on order. I will be comparing that to the standard HomePod once that gets here. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the double upload again today. And until the next video, that is going to be it. Thank you for watching.